Yeah, 24 hours ago, it was a piece of an asteroid that um, somehow gravity sent it to us. And now it's in your hand. And now it's in my hand. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well. Falling on Thursday, NASA determined pieces of the meteorite landed in Henry County in the McDonough Blacksville area of the county. And our From here, I used Doppler radar data to narrow down the strewn field a little bit. Talked to a few friends who had done similar work and I headed a couple hours south. But I'm here, I'm down in the uh, uh, McDonough area where uh, radar indicated some of the fall was and I'm looking for some meteorite fragments. So I've been here an hour. It's very hot, it's very humid. Made some friends over here. A lot of duck poop, looks kind of like a meteorite. Keep looking. When I started, I had a hat. I sat down to rest for a minute and I left my hat. So I may not find a meteorite, but I do need to find my hat again. Backup hat acquired. I found something. It was the thing I lost. Around this time, I managed to run into a couple of other meteorite hunters, including a few of my friends like Craig here. One of my fellow hunters found a few fragments from a piece that hit the road and shattered and was kind enough to give me a piece, so I had my first piece of the new Georgia fall at this point. Right near the end of the day, after looking in lots and lots of places, I've been looking around a lot of warehouses where some other pieces have been found. I was actually slowly driving around the parking lot of a closed dentist's office, and there it was, right on the blacktop near the rain gutter, a little piece poking out of me. I don't know if I would have seen it if it was just the fusion crust, but because it was broken and I saw the light interior, it stood out against the dark background and I had found my first piece of the McDonough, Georgia meteorite. At some point during the day, Craig and I were driving around and saw a newscaster standing out recording a field. We had a feeling they might be doing meteorite coverage. So we pulled up, said we had a piece of it we could show them and they were happy to interview us. And that's how we ended up on the news. In addition to the two pieces I've already shown you, I managed to acquire another larger piece from another hunter. This one's about 50 grams, really nice representative sample of this Georgia meteorite fall. What an amazing experience, y'all. A fireball fell from the sky, and less than a day later, I'm down in Henry County, Georgia, searching for fragments of the meteorite that fell to Earth. I got a lot of cool stories from the experience, met a lot of great people, and I managed to come home with a few pieces of the meteorite for my collection. If you want to learn more about that stone and other meteorites, make sure to like the video, follow along, a lot more to share with you. Space, really within your reach.